yes, they have to call it. Mind you, David Chadwick after a 1 0 win against Stafford Rangers at the Screamer Stadium. What were your thoughts on the game, David? I thought it was very tight. Um, obviously, the weather's dictated before the game how the pitch was going to be. We've not been able to get on it, cutting it, rolling it, anything because it's been obscene on it again. Um, so we knew it was it was more of a battle today. Yeah, you know, there haven't much football players. Told them before, hey, go and roll your sleeves up, each to a man. You've all got a job to do. Win your battles, your personal battles, and you know, see what else we can pull out of the game. Um, obviously, it was a great, great goal, uh, great, great game, bit of skill by Jack Evans to pull it round onto his left. Uh, great anticipation by Dylan to score again. Um, but I, I don't think they ever cut us open. But then we never cut them open. Do you know what? Near the end there, obviously, we've had a couple of one-on-ones where we should put the game to bed in the last few minutes, but they've pushed everyone forward. You know, you, so you ignore that. It was a tight game. It could have gone either way. Set, I always think about games like that, finish on a set piece. Do you know, and I was, I was come from a set piece, uh, picking up the seconds. So, do you know, the, the, it, it was a tight game. It was an even game. Um, and, and we got over the line, but I think we got over the line because of the defensive spirit and, and units across we had to change the shape because of injuries and, and the lads did well so I was really pleased. Obviously about injuries, Enoch went off last week at Ilkeston and then Moali came off but Enoch he came back on so what? what? Yeah, um, last last Saturday we lost three players in the first half, Dylan Thompson, he from Blackford and uh, Enoch, we lost Mansell in the game before that so we've gone into today with no forwards. Um, so that's why I changed the shape. Enoch's not trained all week, his hamstrings still troubling him. Um, but he kept saying he was all right, he was all right. And I didn't want to put him on. I didn't just in case, because I wanted him to play Tuesday, because he is close. But I just thought that bit more experience that he has up there, hold the ball up a bit more for the last 10 to see us through. And, and it worked and hopefully he's come through okay. Um, but yeah, we were pretty threadbare today. Um, three 16 year olds on the bench, which do you know, all, all the hard work that the, char- the, the under-17 guys do, do you know, full credit to them. They've all come in, it's not phased them. And sometimes like that, you want to get them all on the pitch. But obviously, we couldn't. And what there was, well, actually, we were bringing Liam on there, I think, just before the end. Um, and then the ref blew up. But good experience for them. Um, do you know, we, we, we're, not, we're not worried about putting them in, in, in the squad. Um, and the confidence from them all in training this week has been first class. So, you know, the 17s, they should be proud. Today. Obviously, it must be good for a manager yourself to be able to have that under 17 pipeline to call when there is an injury issue within the squad. Of course, yeah, and there's no doubt in the gulf between the 17s and, and that level of, of football. But they, they, at 16 years old, you know, you're coming and you're learning, you're experienced being around other players who are older, wiser, and you know, they, they look after them and hopefully it'll bring them on and you, you can see more of them for next season. Cheers, your time, Joe. All right, mate.